tons of iPhone 7 cases, but which one's the best? Stick around, I'll tell you. Hi, Dave Taylor here again, and I have an iPhone 7, but you probably know that because you're already watching all my other videos, right? You did click that subscribe button. Thank you. Appreciate that. Now, the thing is, is that when you have a smartphone, you're always on the lookout for the best possible case. So I got all these vendors to send me cases. So let's go through and look at some iPhone 7 cases. Now, in the interest of this not becoming a mini series, I'm not actually going to put them all on the phone because that's going to just take a lot of extra time. So we're going to start with this. This is the it's Bendy Trafalgar from Gear 4. And it's actually really nice because it's sort of a two-tone case and the back feels almost like a fabric. It's actually a very nice um, feel to it. And it has, let's see what they say, it has a slim protective case with easy access to all ports, which is nice. And it has impact protection as pretty much um, all the cases you're going to get are going to have that. And you know, you can drop it and things aren't going to go too horribly. Um, I like Gear 4, they make nice cases, and this particular one will set you back $37. Let's put it over here. Uh, Gear 4 also sent me some other ones. They also have this nice little transparent one called the Piccadilly. And, you know, again, it is somewhat flexible. It's a little more rigid than the other one. And it actually has some rubber embedded into the edges of it for additional shock protection. I like this sort of case if you're the kind of person who wants to have a case but looks like your phone actually is sitting there naked without any case on. If that's you, then this could be a good choice. This is the Piccadilly from Gear 4 and it also runs $37. Let's see. and. I'm going to run out of space on my table here, but we'll, we'll sort of work with it. And the third one they sent is my favorite of the three. This is the Oxford. And let me show you this one. Because this one is actually, you ready for this? This is a, let me pull this stuff out of it. <laughs> this is a case that opens up. So it's still the same basic idea and it's a little flexible and stuff, but the idea of this is this is more of like a, almost like a all in one and there's some slots here for credit cards on the cover. And you know, this is the kind of thing where uh, a lot of people like to do this because it covers the front of their phone and gives you some privacy. So if you have your phone sitting on the table and you get a text message from someone that maybe you don't want your children to see, well, now you have to actually physically do something to see what's going on. So that could be really nice. And again, you know, Gear 4, this is going to be shock and impact resistant. And let's see, it has a viewing stand, so you have the ability to uh, monkey around with the back of it and tilt it if you want for a certain angles so you can watch a movie or something. And this one's a little bit more spendy. This one runs $43 from Gear 4. So that's their lineup. Next is Spec. And again, Spec's been doing this stuff forever and they have great cases. So this is, we're going to start with the Presidio. This is what they call their Clear Plus Print. And while this pattern might not be exactly what I would choose for an iPhone case, it is interesting that this was the very first iPhone 7 case I got. So I did actually use this for a while. Though in the scale of masculine to feminine, it's possible this is not the most masculine of designs. I'm not going to go further down that road. Your case is your choice. It's all good. We don't make any judgments here. But this is their clear, the clear, and yeah, and it's a little bendy. Uh, it's a clear plus pattern, and they have different patterns and different designs and stuff. But again, this is nice because it's a fairly modest case, so it doesn't like jump out and say, hey, I'm your case. It just lets you sort of look mostly at the phone. Now, having said that, you can see if I do slip the phone in that, you know, it very much changes the look and the case gets, you know, much more interesting and the pattern really jumps out versus just looking at it clear. And there's a bit of an art to <laughs> putting these cases on and then getting them off again, which is of course beneficial if you want to try multiple cases. Come on, you can do it. Come on, spec. Let go of my phone. I think we're there. Whew. Okay. Survived. So, 
This is the Spec Presidio Clear Plus Print. And this one's a little bit expensive too. This $44.99. But Spec has some other ones too. And let's go with this one. This is actually, I think, my favorite of their line. This is the Presidio Inked. And this is like going from the feminine flowers to the super masculine photo of the moon's surface. And this one, as you can see, it's sort of the same basic idea, but now it's all opaque. And same bendy material, and it's rubber, so it's strong. And I really like when you have a pattern that it wraps around the corners. And one of the things I should mention is that I think it's critically important on all smartphone cases that the edge of the case be slightly higher than the surface of the phone. I know you can't really see that very clearly, but that's really important. And every one of these cases has that characteristic. Why is that important? Because if I drop my phone this way, I don't want the glass surface to be absorbing the impact. So this one, again, this is the Presidio Inked, and this particular design is, I think they call it um, Lunar Surface or something like that. And it again runs $44.95. Let's see if I can get this one off a little more smoothly. And there we go, good. And then the third one from Spec is really probably more of their classic design. And if you just like these great impact resistant cases, this one's got you covered. This is just a straight Presidio. And it's a two-tone and you can pick from a lot of different combinations of colors. And this is sort of a, what are we gonna call this? Burgundy and pink, let's call it those two colors. And you can see the inside's one color, the outside's another. And the idea of this sort of design is that the inside material is a little more rubbery and the outside's a little more hard and it works out well. And what's interesting with this is in the corners, they actually have extended the rubber out to take the impact on that energy if it does drop. So another very nice one. And no, this one actually is slightly less expensive than the other two, I guess, because they didn't have to put a pattern on it. So this one's only $39.95. That's spec covered. Now, NewGuard KX. This is an interesting one because this one, oh, here we go. Here's how I pull it out. So this one is really supposed to be a heavy duty drop case. And it is actually pretty tough. This is a thicker, stronger case than the other ones I've looked at. In this particular instance, it's sort of a blue and black, but you can't see very easily. There's, there's sort of a pattern on the blue. I don't know, maybe you can see that in the light reflections, um, a sort of wave pattern that makes it not just sort of this dull, solid color. And this is a nice case if you work in um, more challenging environments or you have kids that have butterfingers or something and you're just your phone keeps falling because this is going to keep it pretty darn well protected and let's see new guard says that it is impact gel so it has advanced x orbing gel that protects without bulk I don't know that there's gel in here, but I believe them. Okay, there's gel inside it. Um, it has a lifetime warranty. If this breaks, they'll send you a new one. It's not unfortunately a lifetime warranty on your phone, which would be super more cool, but I guess that would be a little bit of an issue with their ability to afford it. So this one is potentially the most expensive, the, the ones we've looked at so far at least. It's $49.95. Still, it's a very nice case, and it's certainly a nice manly, tough case for people that live in more challenging or have their phones in more challenging environments. Now, next company I'm going to look at is from Otterbox. And Otterbox has a great reputation for making great, strong iPhone cases. And the thing is, Otterbox, I remember when they first came out, and they had these like big honking cases that it was like, here's my phone, here's the case. And they've gone so far with materials and design. They have these beautiful, slim cases, and I really like them. So this, for example, is their commuter. And it looks kind of similar to the last couple we've looked at. It's tougher, thicker. It's definitely more rigid. The outside plastic part, um, interestingly, you can break it into two. This part is actually quite rigid, and this is, you know, going to be nice and tough, whereas this is very flexible. I mean, you know, you can do this sort of thing. Hopefully your phone's not in when you're doing that. 
and this absorbs all sorts of impact. One of the things to notice while we have it taken apart is that it actually has the ability to cover up your open ports, which is very much an, um, the kind of thing that OtterBox likes to do and make sure your phone stays maximally happy. It's easy enough to put it back together and it's also easy enough to put your phone in it. I'm not going to do that because I know from experience that it's not so easy to get your phone out of one of these. But then again, that's probably a good thing because that means that it's actually really like holding onto your phone and making sure that it stays safe. But even if I just put it up on the very top, you can see maybe that the rubberized surface extends beyond the glass. So this is a really nice, strong case, and I really like it. It's also only $39, and it comes in lots of color pairs. Just, you can imagine with this design that that's pretty straightforward for them. But if you think that that's still all OtterBox makes, let me show you this other one. This is the OtterBox Symmetry. Hold on, let me actually pull it out of the box. <laughs> and this is really kind of a new sort of design look for OtterBox, where this is a sleek case with a bold graphic design, and yet it's still sort of that same two-part design. Now, this one doesn't actually come apart, as you're watching me struggle to try to take it apart. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to break it. Um, the inner part is same, that same rubberized sort of texture, and the outer part is a hard shell. And I like these a lot, actually. This is one of my favorite cases. This is the OtterBox Symmetry, and this also runs just $39. You should definitely check out their site. They've got a ton of different graphical designs. And that leads us to two, two more cases. I'm gonna save my favorite till the very end. You're seeing it right here, but we'll get there. And this one is the Life Poop, <laughs> Life Proof Free. Now, here's what you might not realize. LifeProof and OtterBox are the same company. Uh -huh. So this one is really sort of like the classic OtterBox design. This is, this is what the company used to be known for. And so now this is what LifeProof is doing. And these are pretty heavy duty cases. So this actually has a front to it. And the idea of it is that when you put it all together the right way, it's waterproof and your phone then can be dropped in the lake and then someone can go diving and find it and recover it. Now, of course, the iPhone 7 is the first Apple phone that actually has some level of water resistance, but water resistance and waterproof are not the same thing. So if this is something that gets splashed on, you're probably fine. You drop this in your pool, you might have an issue. But if you drop it in the pool with this case on, then you don't have an issue. So as you might expect, it's a little more complicated. You can see there's more parts to it. There's actually an install guide. This is ste you know, stepping it up to the next level. And no surprise, it's also a more expensive case. So this life proof free for the iPhone 7 is $89. But really, I don't feel like it's the same kind of case as things like this spec. Because the purpose of this is to give you some protection from drops and maybe to give you some you know, more visual pizzazz and something more personalized. Whereas this is really you know, for if you're working in a construction site, if you really need to keep your phone pristine in tough environments where there's dust and dirt and mud and maybe it drops in a bucket of water, whatever, all of that sort of stuff, that's what LifeProof really covers. And they're not gonna win any great awards for being beautiful, but honestly, most people that are looking for this sort of a uh, phone case aren't looking for beautiful, they're looking for tough and strong, and this baby is tough and strong. So that is the LifeProof Free, F-R-E, which brings us to the very last case, and this is the favorite case of mine. This is the Skin It case. And it's funny because it actually comes in the least assuming packaging. It's just a little Ziploc bag. But this is the Skin It, um, they don't even really have a name for it. It's just the, the Skin It iPhone 7 case. And it has everything that I really like in a case, and it's slim and it comes in tons of awesome designs. So it's a two part, so the inner part is a rubberized material and it is connected, I mean it's like stuck together to the outer hard shell 
and it's sleek. It has covers for volume buttons, so that's nice. And as you can see, it has some really cool, let me actually move my hand out of the way, some really cool designs. And there's just so much about this case I like because it covers everything I want in terms of keeping my phone safe. And it's small, it's not intrusive, and it's a really cool design. And I mean, I've been using this particular case for about, a, I don't know, two, three weeks, and I get lots of compliments and people will be like, wow, what kind of case is that? Where'd you get that from? And you can see, you know, even as I go around the side and you can see the buttons, the case design goes really all the way around. And Skinit has just like an insane number of different designs, hundreds and hundreds of them that you can keep you busy for hours going through them all and then asking your friends, well, which one do you think? So this is the Skinit iPhone 7 case. It runs $34.99 and actually, no, I'm sorry, this is the iPhone 7 Pro. So they have multiple ways you can take one of the designs and make a case out of it. And the Pro is the one that has the inner rubberized material and I just think it's a win. So this is Dave Taylor. I've looked at a ton of iPhone 7 cases for you. <sighs> Pretty overwhelming actually. And of all of these, my two favorites, let's go with two favorites. My two favorites are the Life Proof. If you're looking for something super tough that's gonna keep your phone happy even if you're tossing it out of your truck while you're driving, though I don't recommend you toss your iPhone out of your truck while you're driving. And the other one is the, whoa, 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 hold, hold on. Before we finish this up, can you click on the subscribe link? Would you be okay just subscribing to my YouTube channel? Because it would give you access to lots and lots of my videos and it would help me because having lots of subscribers makes me more motivated to make these great videos. You clicked, you did, you sure? Cool, thank you very much. So finally, my number one choice of all these iPhone cases, my number one choice is the Skinit iPhone 7 Pro, which comes in a plastic bag, but who cares? Because the phone case itself totally rocks and comes in tons of great designs. And this is the case that I actually have been using the iPhone 6 Pro case with my iPhone 6 for at least a year. And honestly, that one doesn't even look like it's been used. And this one is still looking like I pulled it out of the bag today, which actually you saw me do. But I've been using this for a couple of weeks and it's in perfect condition. This is a great case. So this is Dave Taylor and I hope this has been super informative for you and I'll catch you in my next video.